Well, um, for the first time I'm here at the Womex with my own stand as an independent uh, artist representative, an agent and a manager for a roster of uh, nine plus artists. And uh, I've been working in the music business in many different roles before. I've been promoting and I've been booking for festivals, I've been producing festivals. But this uh, uh, managing and agent work has been kind of bubbling under until 2013 when I became a bit more active and grew my roster. And since two years now, I've been focusing only on this work. And for me, it's really about you know, spreading good music, great artists and make people hear them. And to me, also one of the motivations is that music really connects people. I have an international roster, so it's not only about the Finnish acts, but you know, artists from Luxembourg or Romania or Italy. Uh, it's about the good artists who have something special to say through their music. And I want to be part of that team to spread that message. It has been going both ways. Some of the artists have found me, and then when I've been following some artists that I really like, I've also taken initiative and I have proposed collaboration. So actually it's been kind of 50-50 both ways. So uh, one of my most successful acts at the moment is Helsinki Kotonou Ensemble, which consists of musicians from Finland, Benin and Tanzania, and they are kind of an Afrobeat uh, act of uh, eight musicians. Uh, they collide nicely to the world music and jazz scene as well, so they're doing both festivals. Uh, having been having international career for a while now, they've been touring Canada, they've been to you know many countries in Europe, big festivals like Pohoda or uh, um, Montreal Jazz Festival. Also have um, Pekko Gappi, who just uh, showcased at the opening concert of Vomex, a solo yoga player, which is kind of bold, lear. Uh, instrument. He also has a band that's very archaic Finnish um, music. Also have uh, Suistamon Sähkö, which we call Edno Techno, Folktronica group. They also performed at the opening concert this year. Very marginal, you know, late night making people dance kind of act. And then I have uh, a nice fiddle duo called Teho two members from Freak, and that's more sort of the Nordic, Celtic, Americana tradition uh, with a bit of Western swing, nice, uh, very, very good musicians. So these are uh, some of the Finnish acts that I hear primarily promote, all very different as you can hear. Yes, I've been traveling a lot. By now I've been uh, attending more than 100 music expos and I've been attending festivals, both jazz festivals and folk and world music festivals. And they all have the charm because I'm not limiting my work to any special genres. I've been even working with classical composers. So to me it's really about finding new atmospheres at the festivals, finding new acts to follow. They are not necessarily something for my roster, but just for myself some nice musicians that I really like myself, which bring me energy. And um, used the experience uh, when I meet people who share the same passion for music and when I see some really good gigs which are kind of unexpected. I always uh, look for not just the ones that I know, but I always look for new talent that I want to expose, my, expose myself for the new names. So I, I can't really name the best fe festival experience. They are so different and versatile from each other, but they all have their charm. And I can tell that there's not a single bad experience at any festivals. There's always something good, whether it's music or the location or the team or the new talent that I find. There's always something that, you know, takes me forward in my work as well. I think my main uh, contact was Jarmila from the Bratislava World Music Festival. Uh, I've been getting to know her through Womex. We've been uh, going to Womex many times together now. Uh, we've been also uh, invited to the same uh, festivals, Figa di Manresa we have met. We have been uh, uh, to many, many places. So I see her a few times a year and through one good contact you can expand your network in one country, in this case Slovakia. So I've been learning to know people who work for the Bratislava World Music Festival, Martin Nuka, I have met you through Martin. Uh, so the network grows by coming again, visiting the same country, the same event again. And that's also important for me that I invest a lot of uh, traveling to the same places so I can grow my network and my knowledge of the scene. And always old contacts bring some new contacts. 
and that's the way I also try to be updated in my work and uh, kind of uh, also proceed to the next levels, like in Slovakia. I think I'm fairly well aware of that scene now, having been there so many times. I started from the very strange angle. I worked for the contemporary classical music festival called Time of Music in my hometown when I was 18. And that's the very avant-garde. We are talking about the Stockhausen and Ligeti and uh, these kind of composers, Sari Ahor, Lynn Crane. And uh, that was very ear-opening because when I learned to listen to contemporary classical, since then no music is too difficult to me. I listen to anything. And that also was the step for me to become very interested in the festival work, starting to organize and produce in festivals. Uh, but that also uh, made me interested in uh, looking for not just the main marginal radio plate music, but also I knew that in the marginals there's so much interesting music going on. But at the same time, I was listening to heavy metal, and I was a disco queen, and I've been, you know, just very open to different genres. So I've been just very curious to find uh, quality music which talks to me personally. Some is just for me personally. With some of those, I work, and uh, it's all also very much bringing me in it to do, go on with this work.